Froggy, and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup to help our new fabs and besties find some of our favorite videos. This week, build your dolls the ultimate gamer room with these DIY videos. From gamer chairs to headsets, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. is a quick craft. I am going to make a headset microphone using coated paper clips, buttons, a sponge roller, pom-poms, and glue. I will also be using needle nose pliers and floral wire cutters, and since they are sharp, adult supervision is required. However, depending on how soft the wire is, they may not be needed. I start by unfolding a paper clip. For a larger doll like an 18 inch, we found these large paper clips at an office supply store. Curl one end, place the curl near the doll's ear, gently begin to bend the paper clip, and I'm using the leg of a metal chair to get it nice and smooth to fit around the doll's head. At the other ear, bend it forward and make a slight bend. Glue a button to the curled end and on the other side at the bend. And if you happen to have a sponge roller laying around, cut off a small piece that is the same size as the button. It may be helpful to use the button as a guide. Glue the foam on the inside, creating a small cushion so the wire does not damage the doll. Glue a pom-pom on the end for the microphone. I can even change the color of the headband by painting it with acrylic paint. And you're done. Happy crafting! going to make headphones for a doll using a plastic bottle, small stickers, buttons, a marker, rubber bands, and glue. I start by cleaning and removing the stickers from a plastic bottle. Carefully cut a section from the bottle to get a tube. Using a permanent marker, I'm going to draw the headband onto the tube. Placing rubber bands onto the tube, evenly spaced apart, helps to draw straight lines. Once the ink has dried, remove the rubber bands, place a button where the ear cup should go, trace around it, repeat on the other side, cut it out, carefully going around the lines drawn, glue two buttons together, repeat to make two, glue them inside the cutout to make the headphones. Add a small sticker on the outside for decoration. It may be helpful to measure around the doll's head to get the appropriate size. Use a larger or smaller bottle to resize the headphones to fit almost any size doll. And you're done. Happy crafty! going to make a doll room inspired by Pokemon using a large cereal box, cardboard, a t-shirt, pillow fluff, felt or fleece, paper, fabric, the inserts and box from a deck of Pokemon cards, beads, toothpicks, paint, clear plastic, and glue. I start by cutting down the side of a cereal box so that it can open up. Remove the top tabs Sketch out a window, cut it out, cover the raw edges with paper, cover the outside of the box with paper so it will have a clean look on the shelf. On the inside, 
I cover the top with a red paper, white on the bottom, add a strip of black paper across the middle, a circle followed by another one on top, glue clear plastic over the window, glue covered cardboard around the edges, add a thin strip of paper across the center to complete the window. Cut a long piece of paperboard, cover it and the bottom of the box with scrapbook paper to make the floor. Cut rectangles of cardboard, cover with paper, glue them together, make another that stands tall. I make a smaller one, only this time I turn it around. Add a shelf, a piece on front, a faux drawer, and a piece of metallic paper for a nightstand. Add faux drawers to the taller box to make a dresser. Cut two rectangles of fabric, add a layer of felt or fleece, sew a straight line around the edges leaving an opening so we can turn it inside out. Sew the opening closed to make a mattress. Make a smaller one and fill it with fluff to make a pillow. I cut a Pokemon t-shirt, place a coordinating fabric on top, then a soft felt or fleece, sew just as before, turning it inside out to make a plush Pokemon comforter. Use leftover fabric for another throw pillow. Beside the bed on the floor, I glue down strips of white paper to look like a field. Glue a toothpick into a bead, paint it, glue the cap from a glue stick on top, wrap it with a piece of paper, glue it to a button for more support to make a Pokeball lamp. I take an extra play mat from a deck of Pokemon cards and on the back, we can cut out images from the instructions, like this miniature card, glue a small cutout on the back to make a doll-sized trading card. And I'm just gonna place them on the dresser and the nightstand. And the larger images can be a jumbo card for a 10 to 12 inch, or the perfect size for an 18 inch doll. We keep our cards and sleeves so we end up with empty boxes. And I am going to cut the box to make a poster. I make a few more cutouts from the packaging to make posters around the room. We add a hat from our doll baseball cap video, cut a piece of cardstock, fold it to make the outside of a binder, cover it, glue some of the card cutouts back to back, and close it in a piece of clear tape, trim it to fit inside the book, and if they're small enough, you can fit more than one to a page. Use a small piece of tape to tape it to the spine, to make a binder of trading cards that I can store on the bottom shelf of the nightstand. Finish the room with a few Pokemon toys and you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make a Minecraft inspired room for a doll using printables from our blog, cardboard, paperboard, and glue. For this project, we are going to make the corner of a box room. So we start by cutting the cardboard, making two walls, and a floor. Now we can cover the box using printables from our blog. And if we would like to make them smaller, we can adjust the size in our printer settings. We trim the white border from around the printable, glue them to the walls, floor, and around the sides. We can decorate the room with our printable bookcase, cut out, and glue the door together, adding a handle and hinges. Cut cardboard into six rectangles. We glue five of them together to make a box. Use small strips of cardboard to brace the inside to give it strength. Using a few printables, begin covering around the sides of the box, the other rectangle of cardboard, cover it with one of our wood grain printables, cut four small rectangles of cardboard, bend them in half, 
Cover with paper. Glue the small pieces of cardboard to the corners. Glue it to the rest of the box. Finish it off with a thin strip of paper going around the edge to make a bed. Cut out the printable for the chest. Trace it on paperboard. Draw in a few tabs on the sides. Cut it out. Fold along the lines and tabs. Use the tabs to glue the box together. Cover with the printable. To make a chest, add pictures. We cut and stacked small pieces of cardboard, covered it with our printable, then glued it to the wall to make a torch. Add carpet, make double doors, or a home library. Cut out other items, glue them to paperboard to make accessories like the sword. And I can always adjust the size and the printer settings to fit different dolls. Follow similar instructions like we did when making the chest, and I find that it may come out a little neater if I cut the sections apart before gluing to make a costume for the dolls to wear. And you're done. Happy crafting! to make a doll room inspired by the Barbie video game developer. I like the background so much that I just have to make a room. Using cardboard, and here I am recycling an older craft. Scrapbook paper, lots of printables from our blog, a few craft ideas from previous videos, and glue. I start by cutting the cardboard so I have two walls and a floor. Begin covering them with scrapbook paper, I used a wood grain on the floor, brick on the outside, and on the inside, we've done a lot of white rooms lately, so I am going to make one pink wall and use printables from our blog on the other. We made one of the printables to look like there are shelves, action figures, and posters on the wall to make an instant backdrop. We can use more printables to add a window to the room. We remade the table from our doll craft room video only this time we're painting it white. To make a desk, recycle a paperboard box, cover it with scrapbook paper to make the base for a twin bed. Now I don't want to overload the room with pink, so I make our traditional white bedding. I cut out printables from our blog and I can glue them directly onto the wall or add a few layers of cardstock. After a few layers, the paper becomes stiff. Repeat for the other screens, then glue them all onto the cardstock. Cut it out. I made sure there was a little space in between the screens so I can bend the paper. Apply glue to the back of the center screen, then glue it to the wall, leaving the other three screens free so they can be angled. Glue more printables onto layers of cardstock to make a keyboard, game controllers, a laptop, and for the laptop, I used one layer of cardstock, then I separated the pieces for the back, added a few more layers of cardstock, then glue them onto the back to make it thicker while allowing it to open and close. We use a stool from our doll classroom and the beanbag chair that we made with our mini sewing machine. We use more printables and cut them out, fold on the lines, glue cardstock inside, for the front, back, and spine, fold over and glue the edges, fold the strips of paper accordion style, glue the pages inside to make books. Add mini toys like my mini Mixie Cues, and it looks like the room is just about finished. However, our computer could use a mouse, so I'm going to make a quick mouse using child size press on nails. I cut a rounded square from doll packaging glue on the nail, draw or paint thin lines to make a mouse on a mouse pad. Finish the room with our doll headset from a previous video and you're done. Happy crafting!
going to make a chair for our video game bedroom using a paperboard box, paper and a pencil, acrylic paint, craft foam, an empty spool of thread, and glue. I start by finding a box that is wider than the doll's hips on the side. On the corner of a piece of paper, place the doll so I can make a mark for the seat and for the top of the chair. Make a mark at the shoulders and one near the hips. Remove the doll, sketch a curved line coming from the shoulder, going around the hip, then down past the leg. This is going to be the side pattern for the chair. Cut it out, open the paperboard box so it can lay flat. This was the side of the box, so we're gonna place the pattern right next to it, trace it, then repeat on the other side. Sketch the top of the chair, which will be the headrest, cut on the line drawn, leaving the tabs on the bottom. Using the doll as a guide, draw two vents behind the neck. Cut it out. Now it is starting to look like the chair. Position the sides at an angle, place it on a scrap of paperboard, trace around the bottom, cut it out to make the seat. Trace it onto craft foam. I cut the seat out of a thicker foam. Use more craft foam. I traced different parts of the chair, then altered them to make my design. You can turn me Now that everything has been planned out, I take the paperboard cutout, cut and stack circles of paperboard, stack and glue the circles together, glue an empty spool of thread on top, paint them. Once dry, I am ready to glue in the foam. But first, to make sure that the sides bend, place the pattern on the foam using a mechanical pencil with no lead. I just trace the edge of the pattern creating a line so it can bend. Glue the foam to the paperboard, bend, and glue in the bottom of the chair, then the cushion. Add a layer of foam going around the edge. Add the other details. Glue it to the spool. I glued mine so that it is tilting back just a little to complete the chair. And you're done. Happy crafting! For joining us for this my froggy stuff mashup let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below like comment share and subscribe follow us on instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye